Hello, this is James Halsey, and this is the accompanying video for our lab that we will have to do today. So, the instructions for the lab, after watching the brief presentation on Bootstrap 4, complete this activity. You will be required to you will be tested on the ability to use Bootstrap 4 in numerous ways. There are two ways to submit your work. Screenshots are required for both. You will be required to submit your code as well. You can either download Bootstrap using the instructions found in the presentation or complete it on W3 Schools for ease of access since I know many people would probably have struggle or would struggle uh, downloading Bootstrap without a helper. It is a little bit more difficult than it seems to actually start and get going. Um, so yeah, so W3 Schools is accepted as well. Each question is worth about five points for a total of 20 points. If you get confused or lost along the way, please refer to the W3 Schools Bootstrap, but this is not advised since the goal is to better your skills at Bootstrap and you should have been able to attain enough information from the brief presentation. The first problem will be a problem on typography. You will be required to submit a screenshot with a uh, display tag, a small tag, as well as properly using a block quote. You have to submit a screenshot as well as your code for validation. Uh, for colors, we will be testing uh, the two different ways you can use them. So you'll have to post two lorem ipsums in a paragraph tag, and you will have to apply both two, you have to apply three colors to the actual text somewhere in the paragraph and you'll have to apply two different background colors in the second paragraph. You'll, su you'll su submit your screenshot and your code for that. Grids, we broke this down into two problems because grids really have a lot of use and if you want to get good at bootstrap, grids are the best way to get good at it to make your projects look well. So for this first one, this will function uh, it gives you a little bit more freedom. You'll be required to post a screenshot using three different types of columns. And in these columns, you'll have to use different lengths. So in the presentation, I showed the different lengths of span one, span four, span six, span 12. So one of them could be span 12, one of them could be 12 span ones. As long as there's three columns and each are consisting of a different setup, uh, it is acceptable, as well as containing a color in one of these grids. You'll have to post a screenshot as well as your code for validation. Uh, the second part of the grid will build off the first one. You'll have to apply a grid class to make it so the grids stack upon each other. If the width exceeds 768 pixels, post a screenshot of your work doing so and your, validate, and your code for validation. The last one will be on buttons. You will be required to create three different sets of buttons in three different sizes. You will also have to be required to use at least two different colors for the buttons. Please post a screenshot as well as your code for validation. So yes, this is the lab you'll have to complete along with my video.